Hi, good morning. Just wanted to do a quick um, review on how I'm using um, Bourbon Neat um, Refills and Bitters. Yeah, aptly named, uh, like it. Um, this is my uh, base project file um, and it's where I've got my base CSS for my um, app that I'm just building at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and just clear this out. This was, um, for example, if we go over to um, their site, that's the one. I want the refills to show you some refill stuff in action. Now these um, are similar to the bootstrap components if you like, but what I really like about these these um, these things, and it's the guys from Thoughtbot, which is it's absolute worth you having a look through their GitHub. They've got a lot of interesting stuff on there, um, tutorials as well, and things just to make you a better coder. But um, so here you can see a lot of uh, stuff, um, fade ins, um, the kind of stuff that you that you need. Um, modal boxes just incorporated that one into ang into my angular project which this is um, that's a good video by the way watch that so uh, that'll get you going to um, some some neat stuff on there tool tip but essentially um, what I wanted to show was how you might use this in your design so say you you need Bourbon at least to run. Well, you don't need stuff to run refills, but um, it's a cut and paste stuff. So, so you have a tab. You you click this show code, and right there you can copy your SCSS. So you would copy that, head back over to your project, and wherever you go, you would paste it. Say in here if that's what you wanted. This is a breadcrumb that I've already got. Um, I'm just going to cut that out of here because this is. Um, I'm building this um, components page up, so I'm just going to paste that in there. All right, so I've just separated that out. Um, let's close it up, but we want to load that in. So my import, and because it's an SCSS import you don't need the file name or the underscore it's doing that that kind of tells you um, that maybe you shouldn't be editing that file directly if it's a library um, or you maybe you should be overriding it but it's just more of a convention don't need to worry about that too much so we called it breadcrumb and now that will import just fine um, when I first installed Bourbon and Neat I thought it wasn't working because my core CSS file was that that got produced was empty. Um, but actually, that that that's the beauty of it is that it. Um, and what, for example, compared to when you run Bootstrap, you you get a ton of CSS that you that you quickly find you need to override um, in many scenarios if you're doing something quite custom, which is why I went this route. So what's lovely is that. You install these two, and here's here's my implementation. So Bourbon, uh, you can download the folder, um, I and then just link to it through um, Node. Um, I got neat through Bower, but I used uh, Bourbon from Node. All that means is that it pulls it into a different folder here, so you can just um, go ahead and import it from from there. It saves um, saves it being there. So actually, I'm not using this folder at all. We can go ahead and uh, delete that one. That was from an older um, way that I was trying to do it. Um, similarly, um, Neat has come in under Bower. And if, if you've got stuff in these directories, really you shouldn't be editing anything in these because these are sort of libraries. Um, that's not the point. So anything you want to do, you should be overriding it in your own source files. Um, and also you shouldn't really be um, committing any of this stuff to your repository. So that out of the way, 
starting to digress slightly, but let's have a look see where we're at. CSS folder. Source. Grunt is next. command to task run. It pops up my server um, and basically this is my base application so far. Here you can see my my breadcrumb that's styled. This is just a, a modal that I've got. And here for example we see we haven't got any base font defined yet. Um, and if we head on over to um, the created um, core CSS, you'll see I've got breadcrumb which is getting pulled from my components and the modal. So that's the styles that are getting pulled in from my components only. If I didn't put those in they wouldn't be there and it would be blank as opposed to the really massive bootstrap CSS. So getting back to my point about what's really nice about Bourbon and that is that really um, up to this stage if you just import those two you will have absolutely no CSS and this is how you write your CSS in a semantic way. So focusing on say a section tab, uh, tag and an article you have mix-ins and this you can see is creating a a column that spans three columns and you're setting that for uh, an aside inside a section tag but basically this this means that our HTML uh, do I have any example of that one uh, don't know if I do no, no I don't think I have that example okay moving on yeah so essentially um, you're building out your core from from a very um, neat way and let's just delete that that's, that's done so you'll end up with something like this if I remove these imports click Save grunt is set up to automatically update so it has now updated what I've just done um, and basically you see the styling is gone. I haven't even needed to refresh. That's all part of the grunt magic and the node happening in the background um, and live reload. Um, and if you go back to our distributed folder um, core, there's there's nothing in there um, apart from this minor uh, stuff, which must be neat. I'm thinking. Uh, let's check. So just done the save again. Yeah. So neat is bringing in really next to nothing, but neat is is doing is enabling you to use um, the grid that I just showed you. You don't get any CSS, and that's the important thing to realise is that neat and bourbon are giving you these mix-ins that that is this kind of thing. So that is available because you've got Neat and Bourbon here. Neat and Bourbon do not give you any CSS past what that minimal amount were. Um, so that talks talks to um, Neat and Bourbon through through the SAS um, system. So we don't need that. But what I'm going to do is just show quickly um, the refill. So I'm putting back in my modal and breadcrumb and you'll see now that core CSS has now been rebuilt with modal and the breadcrumb stuff and I will kind of build that stuff out and modal and breadcrumb came from the refills so if we go back to say um, the components and we look at the modal show code we have some JavaScript that I actually made into an angular directive um, and this is the SCSS that you would copy that I was just telling you about so basically you copy the SCSS for the component you need and only the components you need and that's the point with bootstrap you get everything um, and this um, is your HTML so 
but the, the CSS is what you want here. So for all of these components, they're built for Bourbon and um, let's see if we can see an example. Yeah, here we see an example of them, some SCSS um, and using the framework. There might not be any grid stuff in here, but you get the you get the picture. So if you want a particular a particular thing, button group, show code, there's no JavaScript here. Hit copy the CSS. Go back to there. Um, you could just dump it in here and it will work. Um, but I just put it into a component file in my source, um, tidy it away like that, make it into a new one. I don't want that for now. I'm selecting only what I need. Um, but there's this this page looks quite blank at the moment and the text is not right. So we get to the next level along, which is um, bitters. Now bitters gives us a bit more styling and it's been designed so that you um, change it, made to change. Absolutely, this is not a library. This is some starter files for you. Um, and I'm very pleased to say that the install is pretty sweet. So let's do that. It's just gem install bitters from command line. Let's get out and run. Yeah, okay, need to sudo this. So this is just um, the Voodoo Ruby Gem stuff in the background that I don't really uh, know too much about. It's a bit like um, Node stuff, I suppose, NPM in a way. It, it works in a similar way. It installs it in, in local gem packages on your laptop. And um, and then you use it. So now I've got access to bitters uh, from the command line. So that's pretty cool. Let's do. Um, but I need to run bitters from my SAS directory. So we just go into there, cd source, uh, I believe, yes, yes, yeah, so there we are. So, um, bitters, bitters, bitters install. And we get the message base, base is where it's been installed to. So let's have a look. Uh, and here we go. Basically, we've got some imports again, some variables for, uh, and some font stuff, which is all very cool. And to use that, I simply do something like this. So this I'm gonna this for me works at a higher level. So I'm gonna include it there. And it's gonna be just base base. I'm gonna click save. Um, we need to run grunt because we've come out of the, the grunt waiting mode. And here we go, we have a much nicer font now running already. Um, and if we look under the hood at what that, that's about, that's probably all this. Yeah, so we've got, it's on a, a label. Um, just pull in the font from the label class, this one. Helvetica new. And so that's been installed basically from the core, which you can see now exists here, which is our new style coming from core CSS. So that's quickly gotten us quite far and and it's just at the right point where it's not overly styled, so you're gonna customize this based on your brand colors and stuff like that. And that is um, 
bidders. So that's what you want to use for that. But you can quite easily import just the ones that you want, as many or as so some grid um, variables, uh, lists, tables. Just enough for you to get going, I think, and not more. And I think that's what those guys at um, ThinkBot are pretty good at, not overloading it and not bloating it out. So that's how I'm using um, Bourbon at the moment. So oh, my phone's going. It's probably time to leave anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, please pop them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.